toast going here. Your speech is going. And to start us off this evening, and you're more than welcome to give him a big round of applause. The father of the bride, Dan. Let's all face it. 
If it wasn't for Emily, where might Jacob be? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All right. So, in case you did not know, Jacob and Emily have been putting so much thought into this day for what seems for an eternity. I mean, it's been going on a long time, all the preparations, but, and I don't know if you're all aware of this, I think you are, because it was kind of mentioned in the service, but they met just across the road at this church camp while the two of them were working. And so much of the little details that are in this day stem from way back then to the, to the grapes that were on the, the triangle, and the world's largest guest book that is out front, um, the grapes that were on there. I mean, the colors, just, just so much fine detail. And it is, uh, it's amazing that, that they've done it. And what a neat concept to have all of these activities for people to do. Um, so a round of applause to Jacob and Emily for So I honestly, when when Jacob and Emily started talking about this day and they were telling me about the concept, I don't know if you know this or not, but my son Jacob is an idea guy. All right, he is an idea guy. He has some some ideas, and many many times, believe it or not, Jacob will come to me with an idea. He will explain it to me, and I have a deer in the headlight look going, Jacob, I don't have a clue what you are trying to express to me. <laughs> and that holds true a little bit for this day. I really, I didn't see it all, but um, it, it has uh, really turned out well. So, the beautiful thing is this, and uh, Gabe, you mentioned about that triangle thing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I get the analogy that you were using about it's stable and all that, but uh, Jacob and I built that thing. <laughs> so I'm happy a, a good wind didn't blow during the service because it could have been tumbling down. Um, for many months now, my house has been looking more like a storage unit. Uh, tons of boxes occupying bedrooms. Uh, my garage was a workshop holding the world's largest guest book out front and the triangle and many other things. So, oh, I'm so excited to get some space back. Can I just a round of applause for that, too? Okay, I'm going to try to try to speed this up a little bit. Um, I have been stressed out about delivering this talk because another thing, if you don't know Jacob, he fits the role of a middle child to the team, all right? I mean, he counts everything. Who got more gifts? Who got told thank you more? Uh, every little detail, he is watching. So I had to make sure as I'm doing this, uh, his brother just got married about a month ago and I did a speech, so I had to kind of make sure, do I give enough time to this one? <laughs> <laughs> had me totally, totally stressed. So, on a serious note, Jacob, and he has always been a giver. Uh, I remember at a youth camp years and years ago, if my memory serves, which I'm losing it a little bit, but I think the kid's name was Henry. And Henry was a participant at the camp who was wheelchair bound. And the directors of the camp, it might have been Bible school or something, I, I don't know, BBS, but uh, the, the kid needed help to get to and from the different activities. And out of all the people there, Jacob was the one with the caring heart to make sure that Henry got where he needed to be. Um, so I wanted to mention that. Dan, last night at the rehearsal dinner, Dan brought up, uh, in a marriage, teamwork is important. You have to work as a team, as a couple. 
And I absolutely concur with what Dan said last night. Every observation I've made, Jacob and Emily appear to do that and work well as a team. And the last thing I want to do is talk about, as corny as this may seem, by show of hands, has anyone heard a song by Dan Seals, who is the artist of the song? Don't worry, I'm not going to sing. The song is called Love is the Answer. Has anybody heard that before? Raise your hand if you've heard this song. It's an oldie, all right? So, in general, it says, name your price, a ticket to paradise. Um, it says, light of the world, shine on me. Love is the answer. Shine on us all, set us free. Love is the answer. When you're feeling afraid, love one another. When you've lost your way, love one another. When your hope runs out, love one another. When you need a friend, love one another. When you're near the end, love one another. So, when I hear those lyrics, I think about a partnership of a husband and wife. Because times will not always be, uh, you know, rainbows and unicorns. There's going to be tough times. Both of you need to lean on one another and always remember love is the answer. And with that, Godspeed to Jacob and Emily to many years of a great, wonderful union. Sometimes, if Emily was on the 
Yeah. 